Why do dogs smell bad when wet? Ah yes, that infamous wet dog smell. I'd be willing to bet that reading those words prompted an immediate familiar response. Dog owners the world over know exactly what I mean when I say something has a wet dog smell. And the real thing, a real wet dog, now that can really stink up your entire house. So, why do dogs smell bad when they get wet? The science. What exactly is it that makes wet dogs smell the way they do? The short answer is that it's complicated. In simple terms, it boils down to an entire squad of microorganisms, yeasts and bacteria that dwell happily within your dog's fur coat. During their daily existence, this cadre of microbes creates potent organic compounds, and these compounds have a very specific smell to them. That smell is what is generally considered a dog smell. It's what enables you to walk into someone's house and know immediately that they have a dog. You know because you can smell these volatile organic acids doing their thing. When you introduce water to the party, watch out. Water helps this great variety of compounds that are produced by the microorganisms break free and stink up the place. Specifically, the water helps these amalgamations slip from the dog's fur and, as the water evaporates, the smells are condensed and released into the air. In addition, the water increases the humidity in the air, especially around your wet dog, and this humidity holds a higher density of smelly particles that your nose can pick up. So you get a strong dose of wet dog smell. There are some dog breeds that smell worse than others when they get wet. For instance, the hound group has an extra layer of oil on their coat that keeps their skin protected. This oil also traps the microorganisms so when the dog gets wet, the bacteria experiences something similar to a growth spurt. As you may imagine, this situation orchestrates an extreme wet dog smell condition. The solution. Counter to what you may think, washing a dog too often will not help combat wet dog smell and may even exacerbate it, especially if you wash your dog too frequently. Most experts recommend washing your dog about every other week. Overwashing may cause dry, flaky skin. You should also use a good shampoo made for dogs, and be sure to rinse every bit of it out. Shampoo residue left on your dog's skin may also cause skin issues which could result in problems later on. Itchy skin plus wetness isn't pleasant on your olfactory sense. After a good wash and a thorough rinse, you should thoroughly dry your dog. You'll need more than just a towel. Towel drying is a good start, but to do the job properly you need to get down to the dog's skin with the heat and air of a hair dryer. After a thorough towel drying it's time to break out the big guns, starting at the head and moving down the legs, over the body, and to the tail. A good dog brush helps lift the fur so you can get the heat all the way to the dog's body. If your dog is skittish and isn't acclimated to the sound of a hair dryer, look for one of the quiet models that are available. Offer lots of loving words and some canady biscuits during this time so your dog will begin to associate the hair dryer with love and tasty rewards. Truthfully, there is no real solution to wet dog smell. If a dog gets wet, he's going to smell like a wet dog. But these simple tips will help curb some of the strength of that powerful stench. The American Chemical Society has a video that also explores the scent of a wet dog. I invite you to see it. Alright folks, just gonna keep it real in this one. We want an excuse to look at dog videos all day and this is the result. It's time for some canine camp. As some of you out there have already learned, dogs have an outstanding sense of smell, an olfactory system that runs laps around ours. With over 220 million olfactory receptors in their noses, dogs can do more than just sniff their neighbor's butts. In fact, a dog's nose is so strong that it can detect diseases in people. One clinical trial had dogs sniffing out prostate cancer in the urine of patients with 98% accuracy. And that's not all. Some service dogs are trained to sniff out explosives, drugs, and even different species of insects. Now finding a bomb might make you sweat. Dogs, on the other hand, start sweating before they find the bomb. When dogs get hot, they don't sweat like humans. Instead, they have glands in the bottoms of their paws and their noses to keep their body temperature regulated. But the mucus on a dog's nose also helps it sift through and process smells. So when a dog smells something, molecules enter its olfactory system and bind to receptor cells that send a signal to the brain like, hey, that's some poop, or hey, that's the thing I'm supposed to smell in order to get a treat. Nose mucus slows down or speeds up specific types of molecules, helping a dog's olfactory system process and identify smells more efficiently. Speaking of smells, why is it that dogs seem to smell worse after they've had a bath? That wet dog smell is from the microorganisms that live in your dog's fur like yeast and bacteria. These organisms excrete stinky volatile compounds. 
But if these compounds are always being produced in your pet, why does the bath make them stand out? When your dog gets wet, the water displaces and liberates these organic volatile molecules from the surface of the dog's fur, allowing them to find their way right into your nose. Another smell that often offends dog owners is kibble. Kibble is made up of a cocktail of animal fats, vitamins, and minerals, bought together by a soy or wheat grain. Now, dogs aren't big time grain lovers, so chemists were called in to figure out how to attract them to the food. Turns out the best way to make dogs eat something is to make that something smell disgusting. To give you an example of their eclectic taste and smells, dogs are attracted to aromas like putrescine and cadavering, molecules that forensic scientists know as the dead body smell. So you can see, we've got a little bit of a difference in taste. So the challenge for chemists is in finding the right balance between attractive eats and offensive odors. You dog owners out there are being thought of in the lab somewhere. How comforting. Finally, folks, a reminder, pick up your dog's poop, and here's why. Dogs add to zoonotic transfer in public water. That's how a scientist says that animals can get people sick with the water we use. A study recently found a way to track dog poop in the water supply and found exactly what they were looking for, dog poop residue in the water supply. This is trouble because dogs can carry many different types of parasites, including E. coli, which can contaminate water sources. So seriously, people, pick up your dog poop. Thank you very much for watching this video. We hope you liked it. Would you like to subscribe to our channel? We would appreciate it from the heart.